Hello, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. For those of you who don't know, I've released Bug Takeout on my site, graphicsforgames.com or wensia.com, under Shop and Games. I'm going to make this brief because i got a sore throat and I'm tired of talking. Okay, but for the most part, Bug Takeout is a fun game. It supports four players. You can plug in two Xbox 360 controllers, you can plug in other controllers, and you can play on the keyboard. Now, I haven't tested this game with four players that often, so if you do run into any bugs, please let me know. Actually, that's one reason I'm releasing it, is I'd like people to, to play it. I'd like to see how the reception it gets and to make improvements to it. As an incentive, if you beat the game on the hardest difficulty, and I, I would like to see it be on the hardest difficulty with more than one player, but that it doesn't matter so much. But if you're able to beat it on the hardest difficulty and send proof, I will give you something special, maybe something off my site, uh, a prize for your efforts. Let's go ahead and start. I have my Xbox 360 controller plugged in. I'm able to play a human campaign or a bug campaign. That prize that I mentioned is only available under the human campaign. And as you can see, I can move other people over and we can all play. If I were to go to the bug side and the human side, just to, to move your character, I guess it's not explanatory on this game, you just hit left or right on the keyboard or controller and it'll, it'll move to the position. Here's a battle mode where both of it, you can duke it out and it's actually quite fun I think the balance is in the favor of the humans so if you only have three friends over have two of them play as the bugs and one of them as the human let's go ahead and start as the human here's how you change your difficulty you can change it per level so I want none of you cheating and changing it per level on normal and then beat it on hard that's not gonna work I can figure it out okay I'm gonna go on hard start the game if if you like the game and you want to make your own game uh, besides downloading the game for free you can also buy the game for a small fee it helps support my site it helps me keep doing what I'm doing and releasing these games for free and videos and also you get all the graphics in the game which was used to make the game and the game makers source code uh, that I would made the game in game maker 7 and ported it to 8 so it does work in Windows 7 but you get all that and you can make whatever game you want with it just make sure to give me credit for the work and you're free to make games or even sell make a different game with the graphics that I have and sell it make money no royalties necessary that's how my site operates I'm letting everyone die here while I talk to you I'm only gonna play through this first level and explain a few things that will help you survive against the alien hordes Yes, you won't get to witness my superb skill in the later levels, uh, but you'll just have to just know that I am a great player at this game, blah, 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 and I could kick any of your trash in battle mode. Okay, so here's the here's some mystery crates I'm trying to open. <laughs> After that smack talk, I just got killed. But this is great because now you know what happens when you respawn. It explodes. As long as I keep the spawn pad alive, I can repair it. And keep that alive, I can keep going. Okay, let's go ahead and kill a few of these baddies with my tank. You can have two people, two people come in the tank, which is very useful. And uh, let's see here. I got no weapons in my mystery crates. And that wasn't good. First level is pretty simple because you got this tank. You'll encounter levels where it's necessary to use a, a good strategy of pushing these crates. You, if you're walking around, you can push the crates into different positions. And you'll be surprised. There are some levels where you cannot survive unless you move these crates into a position and defend behind them. It's true. You also, at the end of the level, you get your stats. You get hints that tell you what to do on the next level some of the hints are useful so don't think they're you should just ignore them and that's basically it I'm gonna close there and have fun playing my game I look forward to see which one of you chumps is the first one to to beat my beat my game on the hardest difficulty have fun <laughs>